back to Living Faith Homestead. This is Jamie, and I just wanted to check in with everybody. I haven't been on in a while. Um, we have uh, still got snow here. Still got snow. It started to melt, and then yesterday we got three more inches of snow, and it snowed all day. So everybody else I see is starting their gardens and getting prepared for garden season, and not much going on here. I think the chickens and the ducks are getting really sick of the snow too. The chickens are trying to get into the compost pile that I had the tarp over. They're kind of digging away at that. The kids are still sledding. Making the best of it. All right, so too much cold and snow outside. So I'm in my plant room, which I still haven't got around to finishing just yet. So hopefully one of these days I'll actually get around to that. But anyway, um, I want to show you the plants that I have got started so far. All right, so basically I've been um, planting lots and lots of peppers. So they're getting there. Some are still germinating and none of them have their second set of leaves just yet. But I got, I've got tons and tons of peppers. And I have some spinach over here that's doing really well. So I'm actually gonna try to um, put that in a bigger pot um, fairly soon. I got some more spinach over here. Some more peppers that are just germinating now. I lost um, some peppers when I was first starting to germinate them because a mouse had gotten in my plant room and um, actually ate the tops right off them, so I had to start all over. So I planted some more oregano, which germinates super, super quickly. So I'm really hoping to have lots of oregano because I have um, a, um, an antibiotic um, recipe that I want to use that for. I've also been doing some celery, which is getting really nice and big, um, but it does need to be thinned out, which I really got to get to that tomorrow. We've got some broccoli seedlings that have come up in the last couple days, and they also grow super fast too. All right. <clears throat> All right, over here, I have some lettuce that I just transplanted into the longer tray. And um, so that's why it looks kinda, you know, yucky right now, but that's because I just transplanted it. But I also had extra room, so I just threw in some lettuce seeds. I don't know if you can see them. But they germinated really fast, like in just a couple days. So that's pretty cool. And then this is my oregano that I had started a while ago. And I had put it all into one container. So, um... That is doing really, really well. And then I have a couple things of sage here that are just kind of going wild, doing their own thing. All right, so this little container left over from the store, um, I 
had put a, a bunch of pepper seeds in and um, they're actually doing really good. So um, I think a couple of them are going to get their second set of leaves soon. So that's good. So anyway, um, you, can, you can basically plant your peppers in anything that you want to. Um, and then as they get bigger, you can just repot them up into their own, um, into their own containers. Let me see if I got one. Hold on, I'll get one. All right, so I have two different sizes. I have this size and this size. So if I transplant one of them in there, one plant, they will be good until I put them in the ground, probably like the first week of June. And this size I can put two in and they will grow just fine. One thing about pepper plants is they really, they actually like to be touching each other. So when they're in the garden, like um, you can kind of plant them pretty close together because they really do like touch each other. So, so basically you want to plant, you want to start your pepper seeds eight to 10 weeks before your last frost. So our last frost, usually I don't put peppers or tomatoes in the ground until the end of May and peppers are usually even a week later. They say like a week after your last frost is a good time to plant your peppers out because they really like those um, warmer temperatures. So if you put your pepper plants into the ground outside too early, it will stunt their growth and it takes forever for them to get going again. They're really stubborn if it, they're not warm enough. I actually germinated them by just leaving them on the dryer because my dryer seems to run constantly. And um, and they germinated really well because of the extra heat. So it didn't take really that long for them to germinate. And when your peppers come up, you wanna keep them as close as possible to the light, to your grow light as you can, like one to two inches. I'm not sure how well they do in just a south facing window because I've never actually um, tried it. So I always use a grow light just to be on the safe side because every time I do try to grow something in the window, like tomatoes or peppers, they kind of get leggy. Even though um, we do get a lot of sunlight coming in, but we live in New York, so we have more cloudy days and sunny days. So I guess it doesn't really work here. Once your pepper plants get to a place where you already have them potted up and um, they have about, I don't know, eight to 10 leaves. Um, if you top them, if you cut the top right off from them, they actually will grow bushier and produce a lot more peppers without, you know, bending the stalk over. So instead of having just one straight stalk, you have a bushy plant that has multiple peppers on it. And um, that's the method that I always use and it usually works really, really well. So they, um, when you put them outside in the ground, um, they like well-drained soil and lots of compost. And um, I always put them like in a little raised bed. It's not like a real raised off the ground, but it's a little bit. And it seems to help even that, just that little bit because the soil's really good in it. And then I plant them pretty close together so that by the time they're full grown, they're touching and I can plant carrots like in between the rows. So peppers are one of my favorite plants to grow. I love to grow peppers. They're just really fun. And I only grow the sweet peppers because we really don't use any of the other kind of pep. We don't use hot peppers or banana peppers or anything like that. So usually just California Wonder. We have some like um, of the Purple Beauty peppers. We have some of those. So anyway, I know some of you might know all about planting peppers, but it's been kind of a crazy week inside and I just can't wait for the snow to melt so I can get out in the garden and I know everybody's kind of locked in and, and in their homes and so I just thought I'd get on here and say hi to everyone. I see everybody starting their gardens, most everybody starting their gardens and we're starting plants and it's really fun to watch so um, 
Anyway, I hope y'all have a great day and I will see you again in the next video.